All right, you bad motherfuckers out there, it's time to do two topics in one video. First of all, well, because I wanted to tell you about this great hot sauce I got a few weeks ago, and that was meant to be the topic of this non-metal Sunday. However, some people also requested me to talk about New Impel Nazarene album, and why I didn't do an, an actual individual review video of it. Well, the thing here is, I have had this policy, and I kind of like to stick to that, is that I don't do reviews out of digital promos only. That is, I request these kind of a physical copies, if you know what I mean. And that is, I usually end up reviewing stuff only on the basis of having CD, tape or LP here. Now, some people still wanted me to uh, tell them about New Inbell Nazarene album, because obviously I have this digital copy of the album a few weeks earlier, you know, prior to the release. So I figured out, maybe I'm not gonna do so much as a individual review of the album, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit what to expect and what not to expect with the album without showing you the actual CD because I don't have it. It's gonna be a few weeks out still, I guess a couple of weeks later than this video comes out. And then I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a review and kind of a reaction video of this sauce. So this would be more like a reaction video, if you will, rather than a review as such. Now, take it as you will. It's up to you whether or not you can enjoy this. But if you do like, let me know in the comment section, or you can just fuck off and do a little bit of a down thumping. I don't really care which way it goes, but here it goes. Let's start with Inbuilt Nazarene, because there is a new album now going called an Eighth Headed Serpent. Now, Everybody who is following following the channel and uh, knows anything about black metal should also know the band called Imbel Nazarene from Finland. I mean, uh, Imbel Nazarene has been here for more than 30 years now, and it's one of the most infamous, one of the uh, most known uh, black metal bands coming from Finland. And not only because of their age, and because of their kind of ill reputation, if you will, it's one of the most original black metal bands in the world, that is, with their style, uh, which has been flirting a lot with punk music, hardcore, and being in general like the middle finger up against, you know, so many other bands. Basically, Inbel Nazarene has nothing to do with uh, so-called second wave uh, black metal, which comes in many, many forms, but more about, like, Norwegian and Swedish styles. In Nazarene has always been, both good and bad, mind you, a rare breed of its own kind. It's one of a kind of a band with very different DNA, and we're really thankful for that. I mean, there can be only one Inbel Nazarene, and we like it. But what about this new album? I mean, let's take a quick look at the band's Metal Archive site. Well, there are quite a few releases, even though most of them are not any kind of a EPs or compilations or splits like so many bad bands want to do in order to just, you know, boast with their uh, massive discography. Let's be honest about it. Uh, Imbel Nazarene has been very, very consistent in creating a lot of full-length albums time and time again. I mean, already in the 90s, they were active creating all, uh, five albums in mere five years. That's quite a feat, considering, like, these guys were young and black metal wasn't exactly big, but then again, maybe they didn't have so much time touring and all that stuff. Now, obviously, the first few years were quite different versus the later years, and there are reasons for that. I mean, the band has suffered from lineup changing, and obviously that has been uh, reflecting in the music. Anyway, be it as it may, uh, what matters is that Imbel Nazarene, like any other band, has gone through changes and uh, some might say it has progressed or have gone through a sort of kind of evolution. Now, for some people, it's a cursing word. For some people, it's like, hey, it was just like it was meant to be. But what about this album called Eight-Headed Serpent? Coming out in 28th of May 2021, once again through Osmos, like <laughs> all the Imbel Nazarene albums, uh, this one is not changing the pattern series. What you have here is some 32 minutes and 13 tracks. Well, that doesn't come to a surprise to a lot of Inbel Nazarene fans. I mean, the songs are short and sweet. Maybe saying sweet is just too much. Now, the thing here is, nothing has really changed the pattern here. If you're if expecting something really different from Inbel Nazarene camp, 
let me laugh at the idea. Nothing has really changed in that. It's one again this combination of hardcore mentality going really straightforward, kind of a boneheaded ways. You know, fast tempo, lots of aggression, lots to be said. But then again, is is it is it that good really? Like, is it that good? Unfortunately, I don't know, man. It depends how much you like Imbel Nazarene to begin with. Now, basically, Eight-Headed Serpent doesn't have much to do with the early works of Imbel Nazarene, except that, you know, you have uh, Mr. Lutinen's kind of a signature vocals, but kind of a wounded ways. I mean, the voice is not what it used to be. It's not as hateful, or it's not powerful. It's like a weakened version of that. Not maybe a lot, but still. When it comes to the songwriting, it's pretty basic standard in Bel Nazarene stuff. You either like it or you don't. And this album is not going to change change your opinion. I, I kind of doubt it. Um, and in my opinion, I gave three listens. And I'm not going to spend more time with that. Because like I said, I don't have a physical copy. I'm not going to make a real review, if you will. But throughout these three listens with these 13 tracks, I feel like it's kind of a lukewarm experience. Not bad as such. But I think this is something that would probably work way better... Uh, when it happens, you know, outside, you know, on a stage maybe. But as an album, it gets really boring really quickly. It's much like copy-based songwriting in so many ways. I mean, if you're a big Inbelt Nazarene fan, you're gonna like it, and you're gonna say, hey, it's as good as ever, like, fuck you, nobody knows how good it is, and you're not showing proper respect. Yeah, I get it. It's for fans, and that's it. You either like it because you liked all the previous releases, or then you will find it as boring as you find those early releases. Not even gonna change like that. So this is Impel Nazarene, like <laughs> eight-headed servant. I was gonna say light-headed servant. That's me, I guess. Anyway, give it a look uh, by the end of May if you think it's worth your time. Now the other thing here is this satanic hot sauce. Uh, this is actually the main attraction of this video. It's supposed to be a pardon for the la rather lack of light here, but then again, it fits the mood here. Now, this is a chili sauce, and you can see this is a pretty a small bottle, but then again, these kind of hot sauces you don't really uh, consume in big quantities. It's much like what you, like mainstream people would understand, use of Tabasco. You just only give it a few drops, and that's good to go. I mean, it's hot sauce, not some ketchup, you know. Now... People who are more like firemouths, who are more experts uh, in, in uh, hot sauces, probably have a lot more to say than I do. But, I mean, I have gone quite a few brands over the years. I have gone a lot of true uh, different intensities when it comes to hot sauces. And some of them are just mild, even though the... You know, advertising lines might say something like, Hey, you're gonna feel real alive with this one, blah, blah, blah. Let's put it in this way. There are so many ways to do hot sauces. Like, first of all, you can say anything is hotter than ketchup. And for people who are not hot mouths, you know, they will exactly agree with that statement. Then there are people who are real chili maniacs, uh, like real hardcore chili maniacs, and nothing will satisfy their thirst for this burning sensation. You know, the kind of a hot thing in their mouth when their mouth is flaming. That's the only thing they are alive, I guess. Even if they're you know, going down on a woman, they probably want some hot sauce with it. Now, joking aside, I consider myself as a middleweight guy here. I like my food when it you know, has these exquisite tasties and all that stuff. And I do like hot tasties. I mean, I'm a big fan of, say, Mexican kind of food, Tex-Mex, different kind of oriental cuisines, you know, be it Thai food, Vietnamese, Chinese. I don't mention Japanese here <laughs> in intention because, well, usually people, when they refer to Japanese food, they're talking about sushi and other that, which isn't really, you know, hot food. I'm Indian food, you know, lots of those uh, Asian foods have a lot of spice. Not everything, obviously, but there are lots of foods which have these really, really burning <laughs> sensation when you're eating them. And I'm like one of those guys who just like, okay, this has four chili markers, I'm going to go for them. So, uh... I have had my share of a lot of hot foods. Sometimes they make me cry for pure enjoyment, but also because they're so hot. And most of the time I'm just like, okay, pretty mild. Even though my significant other might be saying like, that's crazy. Uh, now the point aside is, or the core point actually is, how cool, how cool or how hot this is. I'm gonna, 
yeah, the peppers. This smells like sweet. Uh, I don't know if it shows, but I use this a little bit than half of the bottle. I've used this with hamburgers, uh, homemade Indian kind of food. Uh, I've used this with meat and kind of a veggie food, various styles. And I've been using this in various amounts, sometimes only a few drops to give it a little bit of a hotness or that kind of a warmth, if you will. And then I have used in massive quantities. I mean massive, like a couple of days ago, I was making hamburgers and I tried to do a little, and like, I was like, she, there goes my hamburgers. But actually, maybe because I'm kind of used to it, uh, it's okay. So, this is actual reaction, by the way, I'm not faking it. Ah, uh, it starts to burn. That's why I have beer here, or I would say this is something like five out of ten. I mean, it's really ha, ah, you know, doing the trick, but it's not like I'm crying over here. But don't do this kind of a stuff at home. Um, thing is, this is pretty good. What I really like this with this one is that this doesn't doesn't like uh, taste like vinegar, like so many other satan, not satanic hot sauces, but I forget about hot sauces. Some of them taste way too much vinegar. I mean, you have a hotness and you really can't do this. Or, I mean, I wouldn't. Now my lips are burning. <clears throat> now, the thing here is, some of them, they start with too much vinegar and they are not that enjoyable, even if you get that hotness. You know, can only use like a few drops and um, all that stuff. But you really can't you know, enjoy the taste as such, because it's only hotness. Then there are sauces like Sriracha, which you can just use almost like ketchup to give you this burning sensation, but you also get this taste. So this is evidently hotter than your typical Sriracha, I would say. But then again, at the same time, this taste is a little bit different. And now I really have to take some beer. This is, you know, hot. It's hot sauce for a reason. You're not supposed to like that I had to do it however now I like this baby quite a bit because like I said there is this peppery taste which is something that I go for when I want a hot sauce I want to taste the peppers I want to taste the chili there I don't want to go for just vinegar or whatever you're gonna use there to just have this kind of a taste I don't know if you can actually understand what I'm trying to say here because you really have to have the experience with other sauces. For me, I'm not a big fan of Tabasco, like, forever. I mean, like, it can be used as Dutch, and it's not bad, but I'm more about these kind of indie products. Now, I know that at least, for for example, a guy from Horna, the Finnish black metal band, have gotten this, and a couple of those guys really like this one, and I can understand why, because this is pretty good. I wouldn't give this 10 out of 10 like that, because maybe this isn't, isn't that good. But this is definitely something we're trying. And Satan in Hot Sauce LLC is having now this GoFundMe page going on. And they have more than halfway through by the time I'm making this video. Maybe even more when this video of mine gets out. So um, I would say give this one a chance. Especially if you like fiery foods. And even if you don't, this is pretty cool, cool thing to have. I mean, how many times you get to buy stuff called satanic hot sauce. So my recommendation goes to this baby. Thanks, uh, Jordan, for sending me a sample here and for the stickers. <laughs> and uh, people, go check it out. You will find this on Instagram under the satanic hot sauce name. And you will get to see these images here. And you will find this GoFundMe page if you just type it in Google, Satanic Hot Sauce. So, um, give it a chance and enjoy!